Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be planting my garlic and it's very windy so hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I'll just go through uh, what equipment I'm using and uh, my process today and then we will get to it. So first of all I'm going to prepare my bed um, and I've been kind of doing no-till in here. So I'm going to add some organic matter, which this is Elf Alpha pellets from Tractor Supply. It's like $8 for a huge bag of it. So it's a um, good way to get organic matter if you're kind of lacking that. Um, so then for digging, I have my Hori Hori knife here. Um, and this is super easy. You just stick it in and pull it back and stick the bulb in there. And that's what I used last year. Um, this year I also have um, my power auger. So I'm going to give that a try too to see if I like it better. Um, maybe I'll wear gloves today, maybe not. Usually not a fan. Um, I also have the Biotone starter fertilizer which I give a sprinkle per each hole. I did that last year too and I think it helped out. Um, and then I have my bulbs. So these I all saved from my um, crop last year. You can see they're getting really nice size. Um, I started with uh, farmer's market bulbs because in theory they're grown around here in, in our conditions um, locally. So, so I got a big bag of those. Um, also my spacing is going to be a uh, four inch deep about and six inch spacing. So you'll see me do that. And then once we're done on top, I've got pine shavings to protect it. Um, I do this, uh, I don't know, probably about two to four inches thick. And then I leave that throughout the year because it's also great weed suppression and it will break down into your soil eventually. So uh, let's get to it. So in my garlic bed here this year, I planted uh, bush beans in July after I picked my uh, garlic. Um, the roots are supposed to be nitrogen fixing, which is something that uh, garlic is a heavy user of. So that's why there is beans here to clear out. We had our first frost last night, so they're looking pretty gross. <laughs> so I have one more detail about the um, nitrogen fixing uh, beans. So I accidentally pulled this little root out and I don't know, it's probably impossible to see, but there's these little balls on it and that's supposed to be the nitrogen. So who knows what that will look like on screen here, but hopefully you can see it a little bit. So I left all those in there. I just snipped it right at the surface and they'll decompose and have more nitrogen in the soil. Okay, I've got all my holes drilled. Um, the auger worked much better because I didn't have to bend down. So, big fan of that. Um, these are probably a little deep on most of them here. So I'll just stick a little bit in before I plant the bulb. Um, I think I'm just gonna spread these around the area. I'll sprinkle the biotone in um, with the, the cloves when I plant them. And we'll be good to go. There are a couple, um, garlic's growing in here which is kind of odd so I'm just gonna let that do what it is because I like experimenting with that kind of stuff so uh, next is fertilizing so just a couple of things to keep out an eye for um, about your garlic so this is a really nice clove um, you want to pick your biggest ones from your garlic head. The skinny little ones are not going to make big garlic, so just use those for cooking. Um, you can get seed garlic. Like I said, I got mine from the farmer's market to start, and now I just reuse my own from the previous year, and I know how many spots I have. So I think 115, so I know how to, or to keep that many of the biggest uh, cloves from my garlic harvest the previous year. So, um, And they keep just fine 
uh, obviously, for <laughs> quite a while, so um, they're just fine to reuse. So um, when you're planting in the hole, it's just like this with the pointed end up. That's where um, the green growth will come out of, and then the roots will come um, into the sec or out of the section here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and plant them all now. Um, again, this here, about four inches deep. Some people say six inches deep. Um, I've had really good luck with uh, four, so I think that's maybe what I'm going to go with again this year. So, all right, I'll get to it, and thanks for joining. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera fell over, but it's all planted up now. Um, I did put compost that I found, um, or I forgot that I had in the greenhouse, so that's what I was sprinkling that um, from that blue pail on top to. Compost is obviously the best stuff you can get for any plants, so highly recommend doing that when you can. Uh, and now I'm just going to put the chips on top and it will be all done.